Welcome to another video from Ski Boat Parts Online.com, where our passion is keeping older ski boats on the water. We produce these videos to help you, our customer. Welcome back to another video from Ski Boat Parts Online.com. My name is Ron, and today we're going to tackle a, a unique project for us uh, boat covers, particularly boat covers for older ski boats that have had uh, wakeboard towers added to them. So, if you have a newer boat with a tower, uh, and there are patterns available for that uh, uh, cover for your boat, it's no big deal. You order a cover for uh, the boat with the tower on it. But the older boats do not have readily made, uh, readily available uh, covers with towers uh, because they were aftermarket installed. They were, uh, the, the, they simply don't have patterns for them. So, what's a guy to do? You have really two choices. You can uh, have a custom cover made for your boat, which could easily run two to three thousand dollars, or you can take a standard cover and modify it. And that's what we're going to show you today. We're going to do a, a budget cover uh, modification here in house, and we're going to see how this goes. Okay, here's a sneak peek of what the uh, modified cover is going to look like when we're all finished with the tower back on and the zippers installed. So now I want to show you how we did this. To do this modification, you're going to, uh, it, it's easiest if you take the tower off uh, by far. Take the tower all the way off the boat. I've already done that on here. Uh, then put the cover on and draw it down and get it all fitted so it's nice and centered. And then feel where your first leg goes. Now I'm going to use a high-tech circle device. I'm going to use a piece of masking tape here, a roll, and I'm going to use this. Now this bracket comes straight out, so we want a nice circle here. So I'm going to make and put a pencil circle. And that's where we want our round cutout. And then I'm going to go straight down. We got a seam here, so I'm going to stay right away from that seam. Come straight down, parallel to that seam, with a line. Now, this is where our hole is going to be, but we're not going to cut there. We're going to cut a half inch away. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to fold that fabric underneath to create a hem. And you'll see how we take that on the table, and I will. Uh, Use an iron, you'll end up with little little slits. To help it fold around. Okay. So this is where we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut straight up. We're gonna cut this inner circle and create a nice round hole that's been hemmed. Here is where we're gonna add our zipper. Our zipper is going to get sewn in right here. So we're going to get that a little bit closer on the uh, table and show you how, how I'm going to do that. Okay, now here's our line going up to our first uh, hole that we're going to cut, but we need to deal with the perimeter rope that's in the hem. So we're going to end up cutting through here, but we're going to end up with a buckle or a clasp for the rope. So we want the rope to exit and enter uh, about six inches on each side of where our cuts going to be now since this is a synthetic material I can bunch this up and I can take a hot soldering iron that I've already preheated and very carefully through the front surface only we're going to melt a little hole by using a soldering iron it will singe the fibers and make a nice sealed hole. And you get the rope. And I've got my needle nose ready. And we're going to pull that rope back. All your excess rope is at the tail of the boat, so we're pulling from the excess. So this is going to end up, we're going to not, so we're going to have plenty of excess rope here. So we're just going to cut that. I'm going to take our soldering iron and melt all these little frayed edges. I 
Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, just tie a knot in here so it doesn't pull back on us. Okay, there's to the left. Now we've got to make another one. We've got to do the same thing over here. Again, about five inches back. You pucker it up a little bit. because You really don't want to go through both sides of the fabric. A little tricky. There we go, we got a nice singed round hole. Get my needle nose. Now we'll pull this from the front. We'll tie a knot back in that. Okay, now we have plenty of rope to use for uh, tying this back with our latch. Now we're ready to cut. Cut this line right here. Now, we're probably going to do this on the table so I can get a straight edge and make a perfectly straight line. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did here for the next uh, mount back. All right, now what I've done is I've got the drawstring all dealt with. Uh, we've got our holes singed in, we've got them cut, uh, we've got enough material left over. Um, both on the, we're on the port side of this boat uh, of our tower mounts, so both of these are cut and dealt with. The next thing to do is to cut it. Now, here's where you have to make a decision. If you have uh, the nerve to cut and sew, and you have the equipment to do this with, um, you're good to go. Otherwise, at this point, you'll just leave this marked and take it to anyone at a commercial sewing, an upholstery shop, anything like that. Bring them the zipper, the buckle, and you can uh, show this, lay it out. Uh, you don't need to bring the boat, just bring the cover, and they can cut and sew this for you. Uh, we're feeling adventurous. I've got a wife that uh, knows how to sew and we've got an old rugged sewing machine that we're going to uh, attempt to do this ourselves. So uh, that is the next step is to cut and sew. So here we go. Okay, now here's where it starts getting fun. We've got our cover marked. We've got our lines drawn on it. I'll get a close up of that in a minute. And we are offering three different zipper lengths. These are special zippers made in America uh, that are designed for this kind of work. Uh, we're carrying a 6 inch zipper, a 12 inch zipper, and an 18 inch zipper. And this should cover just about everything that you're going to need on these cover modifications. Um, so the zipper we're going to need on this first one is going to be the 6 inch. So we won't need this. The other one is going to be an 18 inch. But I just wanted to show you uh, the zipper. So this is the zipper that we're going to put in here. And now I'm going to get a little close up of how we're going to cut this. Okay, we've well, taken the cover off. We've neatly folded it so that uh, the first tower mount leg that we're going to deal with is is here because you got to be careful. These big covers uh, and small sewing machines, it's a lot of fabric to, to move around. So we've got our rope already cut and trimmed, so we're ready to cut through here. This one's going to take a 6 inch zipper. So what I'm going to do is take a straight edge and a razor blade and I am going to cut nice clean cut nice and straight next thing to do I hope you can see we have our outer perimeter which is where we want the hole to end up but the inner perimeter is a half inch in we're going to create a half inch hem that we're going to tuck under and so so take your time nice little snips
Okay, now you can see I've got all these little lines. The, these little lines are going to be cut so that the fabric can fold up to make this radius. Good sharp scissors, really handy. to do this and make sure everything gets in the camera angle. I don't know if I can, I'm going to go, well go ahead, get my shoulders. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get an iron and warm that iron up. Uh, this edge here where we cut, we're going to take and make another pencil mark, a half inch. Actually, it's going to be more like 5 8 because of the zipper. Make another line on both sides. Okay, so we've got, that's going to be a hem that's going to fold over right on that line. So the trick now with a synthetic fabric is to take an iron and just iron it. It'll stay there. So we're going to let the iron warm up and come right back. Now every good shop should have their miniature iron. I, I don't know how many times I've used this thing but I use it a lot. It's surprising um, for various projects. So we're going to tuck this over right on my line and take the iron get out of the way now. Get away. Now be careful with these synthetic fabrics I'm being cantankerous. Okay. Synthetic fabrics you can burn. But this will make it a lot easier when it comes to sewing. And we're going to take each one of these little pleats and fold them under. and iron them. This one happens to be really close to a seam. That's going to be interesting. Now in a minute I'm going to talk about the machine we're using. Now a seamstress would use pins for this. I'm not a seamstress. Okay, coming around the corner now. Gonna burn my arm. right-handed so this is kind of go left-handed is difficult so I'm going to start coming up the other side and meet it. All right, a nice crease there. So you just got to take your time with your iron. Try not to burn your fingers. And move around the circle. I'm also pressing pretty hard too.
Okay, we should have a gap in here when we're done. The zipper is going to go in that gap. And pressing it is the next step. Now we got it pressed. Next, we're going to get the zipper and get ready to stitch. Okay, I've placed the zipper in here and I've pinned it in place. Now, I've learned uh, that it's because we don't have big commercial long arm sewing machines, uh, we're going to do half at a time. We're going to sew around this circle and come down, and then we'll repin this side and sew that half. So, next we go to the sewing machine. Okay, now let's talk for just a minute about sewing machines. I really, I am not an expert on sewing machines, however, I did learn more than I cared to about sewing machines. My wife has a collection of them, and I found the oldest one that she had. This is an old Kenmore, uh, I think they call it a 158 series. Uh, it's an aluminum body, and it's a much heavier duty machine than all of the newer ones that she has. So I figured I can't get in too much trouble if I take the oldest one and try to play with it and see if I can stitch this heavy material. And after a lot of trial and error and some modifications, I had to rebuild the clutch in it. Had to put a new foot control in it because I burned that up um, and, and all lubricated everything. And this is a heavy duty old machine and we were able to stitch through up to six layers of heavy marine fabric. So it's pretty impressive. Now the next thing that's very, very, very important is the thread that you use. Uh, you can go online, you can go to Amazon, that's where I got this from, but this is a UV protected outdoor uh, thread for exterior fabrics. It's very heavy. Um, I can put some notes in that in the, in the uh, post when we put it up, but this is a UV inhibitor. This won't, in the sun, it's not going to rot away. I had a customer who had beautiful new upholstery done a couple years back on his boat and they didn't use this type of thread and within two years all the stitching came apart. So it's very important. The thread that you use is a heavy duty 100% poly thread um, and then the needle is, this is a number 18 needle, it's the biggest needle that this machine will accept. So it's a big heavy needle. So the next, uh, once you get all that sorted out you can get the fabric uh, folded up, the cover folded up so you can maneuver this thing around and again we're only going to do half at a time. So we're ready to start sewing. I'm not going to bore you with the sewing on the other three mounts, but you get the gist of it. Here's a look at the finished product. Uh, again, I would probably have a uh, professional upholstery shop do the sewing. Um, you can do this uh, the way we did, but this is the end result. You've got a nice round hole. You've got a zipper, and right below the zipper is a brass uh, uh, buckle that, that ties the drawstring together. Um, I think it looks a whole lot better than having the cover bunched up around the tower legs. Uh, I think it came out pretty well. Good luck with yours, and I hope this saved you some money. Here's a little another picture of, of the finished product. Thanks for watching this video from SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. My name is Ron, and we appreciate you watching our videos. If you like these, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and have a great week boating.